What's up guys, it's Chris. Welcome back again. And today we're gonna have a look at a common situation that you'll come across as a delivery driver. It's when a customer turns around and says, I'm missing an item. So in this video, we're gonna break down the two different ways this happens and what to say and respond to. And they're both the same kind of outcomes anyway. First scenario is face to face with the customer and they immediately notice. And the second scenario is post delivery after you've dropped it off and the customer either messages you or gives you a call. Yeah, hi babe, it's Sarah here. So you've just dropped off the two quarter pounder meals to me from McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's missing a Caesar salad. I need you to drive back and get me another one. I'm trying to watch my figure. So scenario one is face to face with the customer handing the delivery across to them. So in this situation, the customer opens their bag, they notice items are missing, or alternatively, they turn around and say, well, where's my drink, which is a super common one. Mate, I'm pretty sure I ordered a can of Coke with this one, not a cup of Coke. At this point, when the customer has noticed that something's missing, you need to confront that situation right there and then. So the first thing to be aware of is where did this order come from? Because customers have multiple ways to put the order through. They can order through, say, the DoorDash or Uber Eats app or Deliveroo app, or the other way is through larger chains and they have their own applications where it says deliver now and it sends the order out to one of these delivery companies if they say i've ordered through uber eats say cool no worries so in this situation just jump into your app go into help and support and let the contact support agents know from there and they're the ones that sort it all out they'll take care of you that's all you need to do guys the second way is if they say i put this through the mcdonald's application and click deliver at this point you say cool no worries you'll we'll just need to jump back into mcdonald's app let their support teams know the situation that they've missed an item and they'll be able to take care of you from there oh these fries are looking a little bit low sticky fingers are you picking them out as you're driving <laughs> drive back and get me some more reason why you don't just say oh uh just contact DoorDash or just contact Uber Eats. Because if that customer's used the Buy McDonald's app, there's there's no guarantee that they even have Uber Eats or DoorDash on their phone or Deliveroo or whatever company. There's no guarantee they use them applications or services. They're just gonna be like, what the f is he talking about DoorDash support? I don't even know what DoorDash is. So just be mindful of that guys. Send the customer back through the channel that they made the order from. Second avenue is post delivery. So put ourselves in this situation. You've just done a delivery, you're driving off to the next one, to the next pickup or drop off, and suddenly you get either one or two things. You get a phone call or a text message. Let's have a look at the text message scenario first. So a customer has sent you a text message saying, I'm missing items A, B, C. At this point, all you need to do is reply back to the text. I'm sorry to hear that. I just delivered what the store gave me. Please contact support via the application and they'll be able to take care of you from there. So all you need to do guys, you don't need to go on a backwards and forwards argument. You don't need to try and prove that it was the right items or uh, defend yourself or anything like that. Uh, even if some customers do get narky and you know insinuate that you've stolen stuff, uh, don't respond to it. Don't, don't, don't let your ego get battered, okay? All you need to do is simple text, just directing them across to support and you're done and dusted. That's all. And the reason why we're directing to support at this point is because if they're messaging you, they're messaging you through the delivery application that they use. So if you're driving for Uber Eats, they've messaged you via the Uber Eats app. If you're driving for DoorDash, they've messaged you via the DoorDash app. Third party applications like a MyMacers app or a KFC application, they generally don't, to my knowledge, and I could be wrong here guys, like correct me in the comments, but I haven't came across it yet. They generally don't have a contact driver uh, facility after delivery. So send a message, you're done and dusted, and you just wipe your hands of it. And the other way it goes is the customer calls you up, explaining the same scenario, they're missing an item, uh, items X, Y, Z in this scenario. <laughs> same thing, A, B, C, what, whatever. They contact you through, you just have that same discussion with them. If they're calling you, it's assumed that they have got a delivery app, so if you're driving to Uber Eats, same dealio, say, hey, just contact Uber Eats support via the application, let the contact center know, and they'll take care of you from there. If there's a wrong item, or you know they, they wanted extra bar barbecue sauce instead of just a standard amount of barbecue sauce. Yeah, hi, Sarah here again. So the salad you just dropped off, I ordered extra dressing, but I feel this is just normal dressing. Hmm? Same thing, just send them across to support and support will take care of them there. They've got processes to follow, they've got things to check. They can see information about that customer that we can't see as the driver. Maybe this customer is a repeat offender and is already flagged for trying to get free credits and they're gonna turn around and cut that customer off. What not to do is to say, support will do this for you. Support will give you that free item. Support will 
change that item for you. Support will give you a credit. Support will give you a full refund. Never say any of that, okay guys? That is not your jurisdiction. That is not what you're authorized to do. All you are authorized to do in this situation is to direct that person across to the support channels for support to follow their processes. Don't make promises to the customers because you are not fulfilling them. Okay guys, so what not to do in these circumstances and scenarios? So I've just touched base on don't make promises or anything like that because it's not your job to fulfill them. That's support's job. Second thing is don't go driving back to the restaurant, asking the restaurant saying, oh, I'm missing this item, oh, I'm missing that item. Don't do that, okay? Even though the customer might be asking you or telling you or demanding you, drive back and get me some more. Saying, drive back to KFC and get me my chicken burger. Oh, I want that chicken burger. Uh, don't do it, okay? Let them go through support. Reason being, and this is something for you to understand, you are more valuable picking up another order and going off to another customer to yourself for your own time and to the delivery company that you're working for. You're making them more money going off to the next order and you're making yourself more money going off to the next order. Now, when you're driving back to a restaurant, you're not being paid for that time and the delivery company is not making money for you doing that. You are working for charity at that point for something that is not your fault. The restaurant has forgot that item, not you. When these things go through support, support notes it down in the system that this restaurant has forgotten items or has messed up an order or whatever it might be and that restaurant is penalized for it and the customer is offered credits back. So instead of wasting your time and money as a driver, let the companies sort it out between themselves, okay? You need to be on the road making money. That is your job, that's why you're doing it. You're not doing this for charity, you're doing this for you to get ahead. So that's the two big ones, guys. Don't make promises because support handles the promises and just move on to your next delivery. Handle the conversation quickly and get back on the road again. That's all for today, guys. If you are interested in becoming a delivery driver, I've got links down below in the description. Click through, sign up, have fun on the road, make a little bit of extra money, create that side hustle that you've always wanted. But until next time, guys, peace out. This is my turn. This is my turn.